Yeah, um, very interesting um, as, as a term, I think, isn't it? Um, what we have with, with plant-based now, because I think in, in some ways it's become kind of synonymous, synonymous sorry, with like vegan or maybe vegetarian diets. And that can include even in some of the research that is out there, which doesn't always define exactly what do we mean by a plant-based diet? You know, is it flexitarian and, or is it, and so is it omnivorous? Is it excluding certain mm. food groups in the diet? And um, I think, yeah, as you said, it's this, I think it's really thinking about the direction of travel in terms of where we want to go into, like you said, a more plant-based diet and thinking about getting more plant source foods into our diets. I'm, I mean, yes, there is the, the emerging research um, kind of around suggesting that, okay, 30 per week might be, might be um, good as a target. But I think the general message of the word you mentioned there is really important, diversity. And that is one I, that I, we kind of had, have tried to sort of have for a while, really, with the messages around fruit and vegetables, that uh, eating at least five portions a day, 80 grams for, mm. for a portion, of a variety is important for the reasons, yeah, that you mentioned they they all have different combinations of not just vitamins and minerals but also different types of fiber and other phytochemicals as well things mm -hmm. um like polyphenols that we uh they're obviously very complex and we you know, sort of still don't really understand the potential health benefits of so yeah it really is important but um it's recommended within the overall balance of what we eat to try and have about just over a third of what we eat across the course of a day or a week, if we look at um, what we have in the, in the uh, E-Roll guide for that to be fruit and vegetables. Mm -hmm. But um, we know that at the moment, <laughs> again, as, as you mentioned, we're not, we're not quite getting there, unfortunately. No. Um, about a third of UK adults meet the five a day recommendation. It's lower if we look at, for example, teens, it's about one in eight. Um, and so, yeah, as you said, there's some, there's some distance to go to improve our, our intakes there but i mean a few practical suggestions for things yeah it would be do. great yeah i mean yeah i mean you know i think it's important to remember that not just fresh but also frozen canned and dried also count I think and they're much make cheaper it easier. as well aren't they you know they equal, can be yeah yeah equally as good in terms of nutrients are more kind of locked in and more available and things like frozen and a, a lot cheaper than fresh mm. yeah i think yeah it, it can be in some cases and i think when we also consider not just increasingly, not just what's a healthier diet, but also more sustainable as well. If we can, if we can, for example, um, alongside fresh, obviously, but also some frozen and canned in terms of convenience and avoiding food waste could also be part of the, of the solution. So it could be, for example, um, frozen berries or a chopped banana or something like that on some whole grain cereal in the morning. Yeah. Um, I mean, one that I like to do personally myself is, like a lot of people, we spend a lot of time at a computer. So I'd like to put a couple of pieces of fruit there next to the computer in the morning. And then, you know, once you're, you're feeling a bit peckish or you want to, you know, since you want to graze in the morning, you're reaching for something that's already healthier there in front of you as a, as a snack option. So that's another thing I think. And also, you know, when you, when you do have time to cook, you can think about ways to just, you know, try to boost the vegetable or you also mentioned pulses as well, you know, canned, chickpeas or beans or lentils are a great option as well just to to put into things that you're cooking whether it's a soup uh, stews curries or you know, uh, spaghetti bolognese mm -hmm. something like that um because again it, you know they it, it all counts if you can increase your vegetable um intake in this way yeah 